right, we're going to introduce our first guest. I mentioned he's not an inventor. He is not a chef. He is a contraptor. Please welcome to the show the Contraptionaire. Oh, Mr. Hockerman. Oh, Mr. Hockerman, what a, what a pleasure it is to see you. You are sad for sore eyes, sir. Oh, oh, do pardon me. I'm, I'm shivering to beat the band. Contraption air, it's so wonderful to see you. Oh, it's wonderful to see you. And well, I, I, yes. hope you I hope you are not a vision merely brought out by oncoming hypothermia. You hope I'm not a bit of underdone potato, in other words. What? It's from uh, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, a book that I most certainly have read. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not catch the reference, sir. I am, uh, I am very, uh, I'm very cold, as you can see. What is going on? This is cold, not fright. Uh, no, I'm freezing. I'm freezing, sir. One can be freezing from from fear. Can't... <laughs> they say frozen in one's tracks, do they? Wait, not? Which would you like it to be? I'm telling you that I am physically cold. I prefer it be from fright. It's. It... <laughs> uh, I do have a fear that I will catch my death. What's it? So you're cold. What is I'm going freezing. on? Well, I'm in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> I've never been this far north from my beloved Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> well, right now it is a balmy 210 degrees. Contraptionaire, you, uh, we, we've had you on the show three times, I believe. Yes, sir. All in a live setting. That's correct. Never been on the show proper. No, nor shall I ever. <laughs> <laughs> You are, I mentioned you're a contraptor. Yes, sir, I do contrapt things. Yes. It is my life's work, and yes, my heart's vocation. <laughs> you're from Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Where I was born. I think we, have we talked about yes, that? Yes, sir, I do acknowledge you as a Georgia peach. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, is it like when you become a Christian, if you let Jesus into your heart, is, you know, even if you don't believe him anymore, like it never goes away, it's like a get out of jail free card? How would it be like that? Well, I just, you know, I've, I, I left Savannah, Georgia when I was very young, six weeks well, old. You were born there, and so you are a Georgia peach. Thank you so but much. But now, this other scenario you were presenting, it's someone who at one time believed in Jesus Christ, but uh, ceased doing so. But then uh, Jesus Christ is a good sport about it, lets him into heaven. And yes. Heaven. The rules, as they were explained to me, is if you let him into your heart, you're good. <laughs> Forgive me, I do not mean to correct you, sir, but I believe the idea is that you, you keep him in there. Not as it was explained to me. Who, who explained this to you, sir? Hmm, Sunday school teachers? All of them. They conspired to tell you this. They, all, they were in a huddle beforehand. <laughs> In any case, I feel like uh, that doesn't have anything to do, th do with you. It's not germane to our conversation about... No, or, I, are you, I am not a religious man. You so, are not, really? No, well, I believe in contraptions. <laughs> that is my religion, as it were. My church is the contrapting studio. You have a studio? Yes, indeed. Wow. That is where I contrapt my contraptions. And for those of you who don't know the contraption air, although you, they, you must have heard his three live episodes. I, 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 do, I do not pretend to a level of fame that I do not deserve, sir. Let's explain your details. You <laughs> create. You're not an inventor. I am not an inventor, sir. You, you create these Inventors things. Inventors suckling at the teat of the patent office. <laughs> no, sir. I contrapped. Any fool can make an automobile. <laughs> what I do is, I build a contraption to get you where you want to go just as fine as any automobile could do. Are these all travel related? They are not, sir. They're not. The contraptions can do any number of things. I see. However, they are very intricate. And there are several steps they must go through before the desired outcome has been achieved. They are Rube Goldberg-like. We've been over this, sir. I do not know who that is. <laughs> and I pray to God, whom I do not believe in, that I never shall. I gotta admit, I, bear, I don't even know who Rube Goldberg is. I know, I know it has a reference to these types of things, but 
Is it someone who drew them originally? I think it's someone who drew... You Why don't, are you asking me? Yeah, you don't even know. <laughs> yes, I do beg your pardon, but I, feel, I believe my bona fides as an ignoramus on the subject of Rube Goldberg have been firmly established. I just think Rube Goldberg is the type of person, you being a contraptionaire, you would know about. It's like if I were in the automobile industry, I would have heard of Henry Ford. <laughs> are you saying this Rube Goldberg, he invented contraptions? He certainly popularized them, did he not? Well, well you don't. I, I've certainly never heard of him, so I wouldn't be the one to ask. Okay, I beg your pardon. In, in any case... I pray we do not fall out over this, Mr. Ackerman. <laughs> Let this not be the demise of our buddy friendship. Our fourth time meeting. <laughs> so you, you, you make these very complicated things. Yes, you have to go through several steps. That's is it, correct. Is it the type of thing where you have to like release a, a, a giant ball that goes Sometimes. Down hmm. <laughs> Often that is the case, sir. What is your giant ball budget? And, and I'm wondering if I should discuss this on my new project that... Uh, what new project is this, sir? <laughs> my friend... Uh, I believe my friend Buddy and uh, Orenthal and I are starting Reddit for Balls. Reddit for Balls. Hmm. An intriguing proposition, to be sure. The thing that is wonderful about big, heavy balls is that once you've got a few, you don't have to buy any more. They have a variety of uses, sir. Interesting. So you're reusing a lot of your stockpile. Indeed I am. In, in new... In, so anytime that in you... In new what? Sorry, in, in new contraptions. That's correct. So anytime you create a new contraption, your old ones do not work anymore? Well, they have fulfilled their function. They have been displays for people who are in need of such contraptions. And if they need such a contraption, well, I will build them one. But then, accessories are not included. For instance, if a contraption I build involves a, he a bowling ball, let's say, and it also involves a, a rooster who must crow, which startles a rabbit who begins running on a track so fast that it ignites a match, which sets fire to a rope, which releases an anvil, which causes a teeter-totter to fly up in the air, upon which is an alarm clock, which will go into the seat of an oncoming automobile, thus letting that gentleman know he is late for work. Wow. How do you time? Is it a passing car? Well, this is the art of contraptionation, sir. You, I mean, you're the best to ever do it. Other than maybe this Rube Goldberg guy. That, but... Do you think that this Mr. Goldberg is still with us? God, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I really don't know it other than as a thing. His name sounds so very old-fashioned. I cannot help but the Rube. imagine that he is dead. I think so. I like. Yeah, to you think don't encounter is. too many rubes these days. <laughs> this is my son, Rube. Wait, your name isn't Rube, is it? No. No, this is Rube. He's in the 98th percentile <laughs> for his height and weight. So what, what's the process like? Do people come to you with these problems, i.e. the gentleman who is always late for work? Yes. And then says, do you have a contraption that can help me with this? Yes. I need a contraption. I'm always late for work. And so I build him such a contraption. The, he's not always pleased with the outcome. <laughs> because he will say, the alarm clock catapulting into my car informed me that I was late for work. That doesn't help my problem. And I say, perhaps you should choose your words more carefully, sir. Are you like that Twilight Zone genie who <laughs> gives people three wishes and the, the wording always trips them up? Is that not true of all genies? <laughs> Is it not their delight, the degen of the lamp, I would love to, to become pedantic and take people literally? I would love to see the story of one genie who just like grants a wish and everyone likes it. Is that the end of the story? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a guy, guy wishes for a million dollars. 
Jeannie says, here you go. Here you go. Tax free. <laughs> yep. Y'all in the clear. And they part. Buy yourself something nice. <laughs> yep, they part company. And then what happens? <laughs> and they think fondly of one well, another. Well, well, I've been I, I, The reason I ask is you say you would like to see this. Yes. I assumed in, 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 on the silver screen or, or, or on the idiot box at home. <laughs> Sure. I mean, yeah, either of those. I'll take. Although with screens getting smaller, and, well, you don't need to streaming. The last thing I need to hear about is screens. Do you use screens in your contraption? I do not, sir. No screen. Not screens as you know them. I, I guess I meant uh, like porch screens and. Oh, those yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, sometimes a wad of dough will be catapulted at a screen. Uh, causing several uh, tiny uh, uh, sort of strands of dough to go through the holes in the screen. This is to <laughs> tickle a bear who wakes up. He swats at a balloon. The balloon pops. A key falls out. Need I go on? No, no, no. How many dough-related contraptions are you making? Four. It's not that many. <laughs> dough is mainly used for tickling animals. <laughs> so if I were to come to you with a problem, you would... So I, it would be my pleasure to help you in any way that I can. Contraption, or otherwise. Okay, I gotta get the wording right, though. <laughs> Just so you... Uh, express to me what your problem is and how you would like it solved. But the alarm clock guy, yes. how did he express himself? He said, I'm always late for work. I need a contraption. And you then took the wording to be... I assumed he wanted to know how late for work he was. <laughs> he didn't say it's a problem that I'm late for work and I'm in trouble with my superiors. <laughs> I thought he was an enthusiast of being late for work. And he had a personal best he was trying to achieve. All right, let me think of a problem I have. Let's see. Too many iPads. What a, fo <laughs> what a fortunate man to have to sit and think about a problem he may or may not have. <laughs> Truly, you are blessed, sir. By the God, I do not believe in. <laughs> okay, here's a, here's a problem I have. Yes, please. We've been doing a lot of touring yes. lately. Right. You haven't been coming with us, but uh, oh, this is your first show. It is. My fourth in total. Yes. But uh, uh, we've been going home uh, at the end of uh, these legs, and I have to take my suitcase all the way downstairs where it's stored, and then when I leave again, I have to bring the suitcase all the way back up the stairs, and it's very heavy. Okay. And I've, I've broken my ankle recently, and going up and downstairs is very difficult uh, This is for a me. lot. Let me see. So... Oh, I'm sorry. I, you like it to be one sentence or less? No, I, please, sir. I'm, I'm just trying to take it all in. This was a very elaborate problem that you've given me, which will require a very elaborate contraption. Now, let me see if I understand this. Yes. You're touring, then you go home, and you're walking because you say you use the end of your legs? Is that what I heard? You, you have to understand the concept of walking. I do. I would have said walked, but you said something about we go home at the end of our legs. I understand. This I'm glad one of us does. Forgive me, I... I, I forgot I was talking to a lay person. <laughs> I grant you your forgiveness, sir, and I humbly accept your glorious condescension. <laughs> A leg is a technical term when you're on tour for a certain amount of time I see. that you are out for uh, before you return home. So you are unconscious for one of these legs. You're out for the duration of one of them. Is it me? You, you know words have several meanings. Oh, I do indeed, sir. That is why we must be very clear when we're trying to find out what your problem is and what contraption will address it. When I say I'm out, meaning I'm not inside the house. I'm out 
<laughs> in other towns and cities and states even, and sometimes countries. So you're away from home? <laughs> yes. What is the problem again? Let me dumb it down. Sure. I remember a suitcase being mentioned in there and maybe the other things I didn't need to know about. <laughs> Suitcase heavy. Mm. It downstairs. Mm. Me want upstairs. Go. You want upstairs? I do not build those sorts of contraptions, sir. If I take your meaning. <laughs> I don't know that I'm taking your meaning. <laughs> I'm cycling through my double entendre checklist. <laughs> I'm, nothing's coming up. <laughs> well, that is fortunate for both of us. No, I, the, the, this, I, I, want a, I want to bring a heavy suitcase from downstairs without having to go downstairs to retrieve it. And I want the suitcase upstairs. You need to bring the suitcase upstairs, but it is very heavy. And so you would like a contraption to achieve this for you? Do I understand you, sir? <laughs> He's still kicking it around. Uh, he, I got to make sure this wording is correct. Yes, I'm just going to say yes. All right. And the other things about the legs and so forth, I can disregard. Sure, I don't need to give you any excuses of why this is a problem <laughs> you for me. You surely do not, sir. Your word is good enough for me. You do not need to justify yourself in any way. I am, I hope. Your friend. So you're taking people at their word. Has anyone ever lied to you about why they need a contraption? Many times. <laughs> Often, a dastardly gentleman will try to enlist my aid in creating a contraption of death for the purposes of a murder most foul. Like a Dr. Kevorkian type guy? <laughs> or... He created one of those machines, didn't he? I don't he? know who that is. He's, he's a contraptionaire. <laughs> is he or is he an inventor? I don't know. <laughs> as far as I know, I am the last contraptionaire on planet Earth. No! We are literally a dying breed. You're like uh, Doctor Who, the last of the Time Lords? From Gallifrey? <laughs> I'm very sorry, Mr. Ackerman. I do not know all of your friends. <laughs> are these old college chums you speak of? Dr. Kevorki and Dr. Who? Are you, in, are you, in fact, a doctor of the medical arts, sir? Now I want to see a Dr. Who, Dr. Kevorki and team up. <laughs> a team up. <laughs> not just that they meet each other, but that they are working towards a common goal. <laughs> uh... So what do you do in that situation do, when you find out they're lying to you? Well, sometimes I'll get halfway through assembling a contraption before I realize, wait, this meat cleaver? <laughs> this ain't good. Do you test it out, like, uh, before you give it to the people and suddenly you realize but that, of oh, this meat cleaver is going into a scarecrow and chopping off its head? Exactly. Because I use uh, various scarecrows, dummies, puppets, and such forth uh, in order to uh, stand in for my uh, contraptionary ends. And so, when I see a human figure being used at the very end and its head is separated from its body, I realize this man hates his wife. <laughs> There's no need to have a meat cleaver in the bedroom. To wake one up? I don't think so, sir. <laughs> you almost had me, I said to him. What's the sharpest thing you keep in your bedroom? <laughs> uh, 
I guess probably that giant pair of scissors uh, that you kind of use for uh, mall openings and such. <laughs> Cut the big ribbon. Anytime you have a new contraption, do you? <laughs> when I present it to the client, yes. I say, your new contraption is now open. Seems to me like contraption era, contraption thyself. I mean, shouldn't you have come up with a different contraption to cut that ribbon? (laughs) Sir, you have shaken me to my very core. (laughs) I have been remiss in my contraptionary affairs. This is a dark stain on the legacy of contraptionators the world over. And I, and I, the final contraption there on earth. What have I done? What have I done? Contraption there, I, what? I'm so sorry. Look, maybe if I could put a positive spin on this. I wish you could, sir, but I feel it will be a task worthy of Hercules himself. Uh, show, simple show business dictates that you don't want to upstage your contraption that you've just in, uh, contrapted. Yeah, yes, indeed. So if you had a contraption that was better than the one that you're giving to a client, yes. you don't want that to happen. It, it, it would take the shine off the golden radiance of the new contraption. In fact, I think even the scissors are maybe going to upstage whatever contraption. I think you should tear at the ribbon with your teeth. <laughs> You know, you almost had me, sir. (laughs) But I will take the good and let the bad sift through the holes. (laughs) Prospector style. Mm -hmm. You take the good. You take the bad. You take them both. Well, now you have the facts of life. (laughs) The facts of life. The facts of life. I knew the writer of that. Who wrote that wonderful song? Alan Thicke. Oh, Alan Thicke. A grand name. Yep. Rest in peace to a real one. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace indeed. Rest in peace. More people should have last names that are adjectives. Let's see as many as we can think of right All now. Right. And Rube Goldberg does not count. Ray Fine. <laughs> Spelling is wrong, but the pronunciation is true. All right. Um, <laughs> adjectives. I'm thinking of a lot of verbs. It's tricky. Oh, uh, Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Klinger from MASH? (laughs) Could you use that in a sentence, please? I had to stop dating that guy. He was a real Klinger. (laughs) That seems like a noun. Maybe. (laughs) Okay, is there anyone named Klingy? (laughs) I know there's a (laughs) Chingy. So close. Maybe they sat behind each other in the homeroom. Yeah. How about um, Judy Dench? If if it's How about her. If Cake Boss is saying Cake her Boss. name. <laughs> She's Dench. Is what he would say. Dench, which is what her name is. Dense is, but it sounds like dense. Oh, it sounds like him saying the word yes. dense. Yes. I see. These feel like a bit of a reach, if I may say so, sir. How about verbs? Let's go to verbs. Let's go to verbs. Tom Waits. <laughs> Don Cheadles. Oh, I cannot abide a Cheedler. <laughs> it's enough to make me pop a tiny Derringer gun from my sleeve by using an accordion <laughs> extender. <laughs> uh, Lou Grant. Yeah. Clinger. <laughs> Clinger. 
Russell Crowe. Um, the Joker. I'm running out. I feel like if it ends in ER, it's probably not a verb. Yeah. But you, I, you clean it up on those nouns, though, I yeah. have to say. What are we doing, verbs? I-N-G words? Sure. I mean, that's, that's a gerund. Oh, Grant Snow. <laughs> From Melrose Place. That's right. Grant showed from uh, Murphy Brown. <laughs> really? Yeah. Remember that guy? Is there a Grant show and a Grant Snow? S H A U D. S showed. Showed. Like chode? I don't like to think of it that way, sir. <laughs> Nor do I like to think of it as a chud. A city. What does a chud stand for? City, habitating, <laughs> unusual. Denizen. That's right. <laughs> All jokes aside, sir, it stands for cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. <laughs> oh, don't cheer for chuds. <laughs> Pray, Portland, Oregon, do not cheer for chuds. Mini driver. Well, no, that's a noun. But let's, let's just switch to nouns. Let's switch to nouns. Okay. The Rock. Dog the Bounty Hunter. This will take forever if we do nouns. True. So let's just cut so it here. There's yeah. an infinite number of nouns, only 10 or 12 verbs. <laughs> So, about my problem, contraption yes. air, have you germinated upon this very problem? Let's say that I have, hmm. while we have been talking about <laughs> nouns, verbs, gerunds, and adjectives. Because I would imagine that a contraption air like you has a mind palace in which one retreats while one is actually talking about other things and, and ruminates upon the contraptions. I do and... have a place such as you mentioned. It is called the Contrapto Cave. <laughs> Is it like the back cave where there's like trophies and giant dinosaur? Well, I mean, there's definitely a bunch of contraptions. <laughs> one of them might involve a, a dinosaur, I suppose. <laughs> not a real one, of course. Oh, thank God. How about a, not a real chud either? No, I do have several chud replicas. <laughs> Nothing to do with contraptions. I'm just a collector. What is, what is worse to do to a chud? Mm, I love these kinds of problems. If there was a chud, mm. kill a chud? Or enslave a chud? It is a poor thing for anyone to be enslaved, be he human or be he chud. I would say that would be the worst. So kill a chud. Kill a chud before you enslave a chud. <laughs> Kill a chud. Shower with a... <laughs> Friend? <know>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that expression? Kill a chud. Ride a cowboy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so your contrap contrapto cave. I go into... Let me now go into my contrapto cave. See a suitcase. It's quite heavy. I see a staircase. Staircase, suitcase, could they be related? That's a problem for another day. Suitcase downstairs. Must go upstairs. Oh, oh, I know what you're thinking. You better get that out of your mind. Oh my God, he's doing the Dikembo Mutombo. <laughs> Or the Newman from Jurassic Park. How best to get this heavy object up this steep and stary plane? All right. <laughs> Contraptionary, you're back. 
I know what I need. All right. I will need a potato. I will need a while going from the potato to an alarm clock. I need the alarm clock to be set for one minute from now. Now? In the scenario. In this, okay, oh, okay. You, you can see that, oh no, alarm clock's around here. <laughs> I was going to say, it's going to take me more than a minute to get one. Yes. And by that time, the minute will have passed. <laughs> Thank you, contraption air. The, the alarm clock goes off an awful buzz. This causes a hive of bees nearby to sense danger. They are next in line after the alarm clock. The bees swarm. They are forming a shape. The shape is an arrow. <laughs> the bee arrow strikes down at the ground. This is one of those test your strength machines that you see at the carnival. <laughs> but without the strength part, it's just the button. It hits the button, causes the bell to rise up. But before it can rise up all the way, it tips over a red hot frying pan full of fried eggs. The eggs spill over into the waiting mouth of a crocodile. The crocodile enjoys his unexpected breakfast. He begins to wag his scaly tail. <laughs> he knocks over a bookshelf which is right in front of another bookshelf. A domino effect is created. The last bookshelf at the very end, a book pops out of the bookshelf, finds itself on a single roller skate. The roller skate carries the book to a stern librarian who stamps it returned. She puts it upon a shelf that is not there. Instead, there is a mighty scale. The book is very heavy. It goes down. The other scale goes up. This scale, of course, contains your suitcase. The suitcase is now level with the top stair. And all you need do is pull it forward, sir. Now, that, of course, is yours. You will just need, I will assemble it but you will need to buy some of the parts yourself. How, how do I get a hold of this librarian? I'm afraid that's your problem, sir. I've outlined the details of the contraption that you have requested. Is there anything you can do for pulling a suitcase off a contraption? <laughs> sir, you demean us both with that question. Okay, you're right. I can just reach out and... Of course. Reach out and touch And grab it. you. Oh, I was doing uh, Abracadabra, <laughs> and you were doing... Steve Miller Band. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was doing... Who was I doing? Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode. Fast fashion. <laughs> Reach out and touch faith. Yeah, do it. Strange lyric. Well, that is the beauty of song, is it not? We are, in song, we are not confined to words that make sense in any particular order. In song, you may fly free, as free as the bird, whose songs make no sense themselves. That's true. Do you see, oh God, I, you know, every once in a while you'll see like birds flying around and then they'll go, oh, that one bird is warning the other bird. But they don't like speak any language. No, it's absolutely untrue. Birds cannot be understood by us nor by each other. They are simply making noise. <laughs> every once in a while, though, that mating call. Ooh. So, what are your intentions? <laughs> you Sexy, isn't you it? You maintain steady eye contact with me as you did those lascivious demonstrations. I'll look away, see if it has the same effect. All right. <laughs> You're looking at me. <laughs> You're still looking at me. Woohoo! <laughs> it had the same effect. I am unnerved. <laughs> 
Well, contraption error, that, that uh, I would need to buy the eggs and the crocodile, man. Yes. Yeah. Well, you can rent a crocodile, I suppose, or raise one as a pet. I'm, I'm worried it would turn into a chud. <laughs> Mr. Argoman, crocodiles do not become chuds. They coexist in the sewers. Are they friends? In some occasions. I guess... <laughs> <laughs> That was the laugh of experience. <laughs> Someone who has witnessed a bit of rivalry between a crocodile and a chud. Did we switch from alligator to crocodile? Or has it always been crocodile? I think it's always been crocodile. It should have been alligator. Maybe it was. Maybe it will be. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, So I need an alligator, not a crocodile. What is the main difference? Honestly... Either one will do. Right. They both wag their tails. It's like the peanut butter at the supermarket. The brand name is the same as the store brand. Is it really? No. Hmm. The brand name is much better. <laughs> You're going to tell me <laughs> Jif isn't better than President's Choice? <laughs> Which president, too? Exactly. They don't narrow it down. <laughs> yeah. We don't even know who's the president of this country. If it was Jimmy Carter, I would trust it. I would trust a president's choice, Jimmy Carter peanut butter, absolutely. The peanut president, they called him. <laughs> Let us remember to refer to him forever as the peanut president. I'm sure he prefers that to, like, the house-building president. That has no flair, no panache. Not like peanut. <laughs> a word jam-packed with panache. It's almost panache. Peanut is almost panache. It's so close. So close. Why not just be panache? Do you think peanut is sometimes despondent <laughs> that it is not panache? <laughs> so it goes home to its peanut wife and says, I was so close. What do you think, if you were a word in the dictionary, like what's the, what word is the worst, has the worst sandwich of like... Meaning, like, the word right before it and the word right after it are both just horrible. I feel this is an impossible task. <laughs> I know. I, I don't know if I was supposed to have come having memorized the dictionary. But in honesty, I must tell you, I have not, sir. Like, I feel like... This feels like a question you already have an answer to. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm it's thinking... It's very about, specific. I'm in my mind, mind palace. How is it in there? <laughs> it's a little cluttered. <laughs> Any contraption? <laughs> no, sorry. Oh. Like, I feel like... Do we have time for this? I was looking for something in between penis and penile. <laughs> Penitent, I was close, but it's after. Anyway. Well, that's a big anyway, good buddy. <laughs> Ten four over and out. The contraption air, everyone. <laughs> I need to get my notes out for this. Because you remember that song? Woohoo! Song two. Is that what it was called? Song, uh, song as well is what uh, the official title. <laughs> Do you remember that other song? Uh, You're crumb believable. It's okay. Let's get ready to crumble. It's no safe flight repair. Safe flight replace. <laughs> Now that's a song. That's a song. That's a real song. I've already forgotten <laughs> their names. <laughs> Guys, do you like to eat? As far as I'm concerned, we do it a lot, don't we? <laughs> I do it every day. Yeah. Sometimes, multiple times. Wow. I'm also a bit of a water freak. I drink it at least every three days. <laughs> you're also, I, I wouldn't say you're made of it, but you have a lot of it inside of you. Water? Yeah. True. But we're not here to talk about water right now. 
We're here to talk about food. I feel embarrassed that we have taken this unnecessary diversion. They are chefs. Yes, chefs. <laughs> the bear. The bear. They are chefs. They are... Again, I'm going to have to pull this out because I've already forgotten it. I keep putting it back confidently in my <laughs> breast pocket. But then pocket. I keep talking to you. Yep. They are married. They are chefs. Please welcome to the stage the Neelys. Oh. Oh, he had to go. <laughs> Did he have to go? Maybe we scare him off. Do we scare him off with our love? No, I'm sorry. I was a mite parched and I needed my cup of H2O to replenish my throatly juices. Oh, okay. You have to keep your throatly juices replenished. Absolutely. I agree with that. And that is a metal cup. It keeps the drinks colder cool. for 15 minutes longer than it would in a normal cup. That's a fact. That's a fact. Really? My baby is so smart. Oh, I thank you, baby. I, I, oh. like, I like reading books with my baby in bed. Oh, yeah. He's not just reading books. I'm also... Reading those booty cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. That oh, is we're right. too much. We're, we're too, too much. We are too, we are too much. much. We're too much. Let's be less. Let's be less. Be Let's less. Be, be less. Be less. Be less. source. Okay. <laughs> the Neelys are here. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Scott. Hi. What are your uh, uh, should I ethnicities? Use your... <laughs> no. <laughs> feel weird on a COVID test when they ask me that. Your ethnicity? Yeah, it's like, well, what? Well, how, how do you identify, Scott? I mean, uh, it is boring. You have a hue, Scott. You, you have do a have hue. a hue. You do have a hue. It reminds me of jicama. <laughs> jicama. It's something that we use to cook we with. We put that in salads. Salads. Yeah. We put oh. it in salads. Sometimes we put it in a beverage as a garnish. Yes, yeah. and sometimes we put it in the bathtub when we're getting freaky. Freaky deaky. <laughs> <laughs> we're too much. Be too much. We're be too less. Much. Be we're less. Too much. Baby, be less. Oh, be, be less. less. Be you less. do have a hue. It's white. That's yeah, yeah. That's what we were getting because jicama is white. I like, but, on, but tasty. Tasty. I like on the COVID test when uh, after you say what your ethnicity is, then there's another question like, "Are you Hispanic or not?" <laughs> be straight with us, <laughs> because that first answer was bullshit. Exactly, because. <laughs> I'm telling you, some people get caught up. They get caught up. That's a, that's a test to see if you're lying. I guess what I was going to ask is, do you have first names that I should call you by, or are you just the Neelys? Sure. The. I'm, I'm Wayland. And I'm the. <laughs> oh, you're the. I'm sorry, I introduced the Neelys, and I thought I was introducing both of you, but... Well, she usually, she, she, she takes more than half. Right. And you know how they'll say uh, on, on an invitation, inviting Mr. and Mrs. Brent whatever, last name? You get what I'm saying. Sure, yeah. They're always saying, like, yeah, they're always calling the woman, like, Mrs. This guy. This guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, we've switched it up. Good. All we right. switched it up. We've changed the gender roles. Mm -hmm. What do you identify as, Scott? <laughs> Do you, is that too much of a question? Fine. Okay, me. move on. Well, come on, come on. We move oh, on. Throat we move juices. on. My throat juices are flowing mightily like Moses parting the Red Sea. Ba oh, baby, tell them about your throat juices. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, maybe you should tell them about my throat juices because you are the one that experiences them. <laughs> oh, is it too much? Are we it's being okay, too be, much? Baby, be less. I will be, be, be less. less. I heard some groans and I like those. Be less. How did how did you guys? Uh, uh, I'm not going to ask how you started cooking, but how did you guys meet? I mean, how long have you been together? Please do not ask us how we started cooking. That is very offensive. <laughs> I don't. I just you know sometimes that's a default question. But we'll tell you. What did, we could tell you how we started cooking, but do you want to know how we met first? Yeah, let do met and then cooking. Okay, we were in a kitchen cooking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He and I were in a kitchen cooking. We were in the kitchen cooking. We bumped into each other. We bumped butts. We bumped butts at the Cheesecake Factory. Pork butt. And he said, well, I guess I'm cheesing you cake. Mm -hmm. And it was corny, but it got me. And there was a third in our relationship, and he said, uh, and I'm factory. <laughs> we got 
got rid of him. He died. Yeah. We offed him. We, well, oh, oh, that's three major revelations in a row. <laughs> yes, we murdered well, him. He, you, but first, you, <laughs> you want to know. Murdered. But we have another question to ask. It's, oh, it's oh, more important. Oh, which okay, is, sure. Which is, uh, how, how did we you start, start cooking? cooking? Right. We're not going to talk about the factory we offed, okay? Yes. Okay. We did off the factory. So when we did start cooking, baby, together. Let's ask the question together. T- together we started cooking at that at said cheesecake factory. We were both chefs, and we liked to make the avocado wontons. Oh, the avocado wontons are amazing. You put a little avocado in a wonton, mm-hmm. and then you fry it up. Fry it up. And it sizzles. <sighs> So you guys, whenever anyone would order the avocado wontons, they would call you in? Oh, yes. And that was the only time we worked. Our hours were very small. Because you know that menu is so big, mm-hmm. people didn't even get to the avocado wontons. Did you, would you qualify for health insurance if you came in and worked? No. I mean, don't get injured. No, nope. better not get hurt. That's sort of what happened to Factory. Yes. <laughs> he, he got hurt. for insurance. He got hurt. He got hurt. By us. By us. Yeah, the, the, we the, offed him. The major revelations were you were in a thruple, which then he died <laughs> because you killed him. Yes. Yes, correct. Yes. <laughs> correct. Any Anything other else? questions? Yes. <laughs> Double jeopardy. You can't, you can't get us again. Oh, wait, you've already been tried for it. Oh, yes, we tried. Tra- we and tried. Convicted. <laughs> and convicted. <laughs> tried and convicted. So you've already been to prison for this? We, oh, we, were, we were in the same prison. Let's just say it was very conjugal. Okay. Oh, is that too much? I hear to... groans. I hear we moans had... and groans. From and he likes those. Don't like do that. He likes groans. those. Love them. One of y'all gonna get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I see we have dispensed with the subtext. <laughs> San Quentin, yes. Oh. San that's, Quentin. That's State classic. Yeah. Yeah. Were you Cla- happy when they said? Were you happy when they said you're going to San Quentin? I mean, that's. It was like, kind of, yeah. We were happy. We were happy. It wasn't Alcatraz because that one was closed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We they got like rid of it. the sharks, from what I hear. They got rid of the sharks. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Put two, they put a bunch of salt in the uh, in the water, hmm. or took it out. Oh, uh, sharks don't like salt. Or they do love it a lot. <laughs> I don't know. But well, which one is it, Scott? Well, which one? You're confusing me, Scott. You're confusing me. Well, we love salt as well. You and do. We like sugar. We love salt and sugar mm-hmm. and spice. Uh oh, <laughs> my microphone is is going nuts. It's sizzling like an avocado sizzling. wonton. Yeah. <sighs> Are we here? Are we live? <sighs> Got it. So. So how... 25 years. 25 years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. For 25 years. Wow, that's all... I mean, and you kept your relationship going. Mm-hmm. Yes, the whole time. The whole time. Oh, wow. yeah. And we, in prison, we vowed to kill again. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be our lucky... <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Double jeopardy. No, no, no it's actually a different crime. <laughs> what? No, what, well, no. <laughs> No, we already committed one murder and went to jail for it. Now we can kill we can, anybody. We can kill anybody for free. <laughs> what did what did Factory do that? Uh, I mean, you were in this relationship with. Yes. Let's just say he looked at us wrong. <laughs> like what is wrong when it comes to looking at you? you I'm not want, doing yeah, it. Yeah, don't do it because okay, you could end up dead. Scott, do not look at us wrong. What is looking like? Well, no, I like that. I like oh, that. Okay. Look. Ooh, I like that look. Ooh, ooh, girl, look at that ass. <laughs> what are you doing after yeah. this show, Scott? Oh, I'm just going straight back to the hotel. I oh, think. oh, the hotel. He was. He stared at us. He mm. stared. I, you're your guest on my show. I have to stare at you because. Well, not too long. You can split the looks between yeah. me. There's two of us. Am I looking at you too much, or am I looking at him too much? Well, you're looking at me right now, and it's a little too much, a little too much, a little too much. <laughs> Going to move on over to him. Okay. Hi. <laughs> What's up, Scott? I haven't seen you since high school. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> we. 
We went to high school together? You don't remember me, Scott? Scott, don't make him mad. You don't need to remember make him. Me mad. Remember me from high school, Scott. We Please never remember talked. him. Please remember him. We never said a word to each other. Please remember him. Uh, uh, from Home Ec. He's a chef. I was in Home Ec every year. We were three years apart in high school. You were, you were younger or you were older? Both. <laughs> You started out as older, but you got held back until... Yes, I got held back until I became younger. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how that works. That is how that works. I, I, you know, I did go to school with a different murderer. <laughs> well, Whom? Do tell. Whom? Some, some dude from uh, 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 our franchise, the Austin Powers franchise, <laughs> that I'm so uh, glad to be a part of. He played the odd job guy. <laughs> Hmm. 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 Ah. Yes. Yes. It's starting to ring a bell. Yes. <laughs> well, that's a terrible story, but you've paid your debt to society. Yeah. Our debt to society, and we now have a show on the cooking food channel. <laughs> on the cooking food channel. channel. On the cooking food channel. CFC. CFC. <laughs> TCFC. What's T- T-C- oh, T- the T- is the, the, the cooking. They usually cooking. drop the, the the article, but not on not on this channel. Not on this channel. It's what I read T-C-F-C- Playboy for. Oh, you have a hue. <laughs> you do have a hue. You see what I did there? It's turning red like beets. Are you nervous? <laughs> I guess I am a little nervous talking to you. I mean, you're self uh, 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 described and proclaimed killers. I mean, well, we're chefs, we're chefs. also. I mean, yes. We're chefs. Why don't we teach you how to make our mac and cheese? That would be great. Yeah, you're, uh, I didn't realize we were going to do a cooking demonstration. Yeah. yeah but yeah. Yeah, yeah Let's do are. it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would be wonderful. Mac and cheese. Macaroni. Mac A lot of people don't know is what mac no, not, stands for. Not, yes. Not like Malcolm and cheese. No. Or Bernie <laughs> Mac. Bernie Mac. Was, it, was his name Bernie Macaroni? <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. It was. Bernie Macaroni. <laughs> Stuck a fella in my cap. <laughs> you do really good impressions. Me? <laughs> or the, the one I've heard. That's it. You don't no, do ba- anyone else. No, baby, please. Baby, do your Cat Williams. <laughs> Cat Williams. Baby, oh. I love his Cat Williams. <laughs> Let's see, uh... Oh, Cat Williams. Uh, what, what's he doing? What's the scenario? Oh, he's cooking mac and cheese. Cooking mac and cheese. <laughs> this is how you put the noodles in the pot. <laughs> he's oh. so good. He's so good. How is he putting the noodles in the pot? Like pouring them in? Or? He's pouring them from a box. <laughs> G- great impressions. You're really good. Uh, I forget your name. <laughs> Wayland. <laughs> Wayland. Wayland. Way- Wayland. 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 Like Kurds and. Kurds and Wayland. And what I did with a DVD once to my friend. Yes. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I lent him the oh. DVD. Oh, okay. Oh, lent? You lent him the DVD. Oh, sorry. <laughs> The past is a lunt. <laughs> Way lunt. Now, when it's Way that's lint. a holiday, when it's lunt, you you take on something for forty days. Forty days, you stop doing it. Is it that long, really? Forty, 40 days. Forty nights. 40 I thought it was a weekend or something. No. Nope. How? No. Nope. Good for them. Yeah. Forty days, forty nights. All right. Okay, so let's so do this the cooking. Mac, the, the mac and cheese. Yeah. Mac and okay, cheese. Okay. So you're gonna go to the grocery store and grab us some elbow macaroni. <laughs> Oh, uh, can I pretend I did it, or do you need me to do it? Well, everyone will go hungry if we pretend. <laughs> pretend you pretend hey, you're going to cook for every single person. Every Everybody single in here soul is going to get a mac and cheese. We'll get mac 
mac and cheese. A, a ramekin and a tiny wooden spoon of mac and cheese. I just usually when people have a show and people do a cooking demonstration, they bring all of the... the... What, when you say people, what kind of people are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. But... I don't know that we need to bring it into that arena. <laughs> what, is, what is that arena? What arena? Non-chefs. <laughs> The non-chef arena? <laughs> we'll just talk you through. Okay. Scott. okay. Scott's not going to right. Sorry, folks. Blame Scott. Everybody's going to go hungry tonight. Do Nobody's going to get their mac and cheese. Because he's tonight. too good to go to the grocery store. Okay. What grocery store do you have here in Portland? Albertsons. Albertsons. Safeway. 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 Shout out your favorite Safeway. grocery store. Yes. Fred Meyer. Is there no is there no Kroger in Portland, Oregon? I can't Kroger understand. Kroger owns Fred Meyer. Kroger, Kroger owns, owns Fred, Fred Meyer. Meyer. Also Ralph. But it's not the same. Fred Meyer? Stores shouldn't own stores. Conflict of interest if you ask me. Stores owning stores. Well, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, so you're gonna get a pot. Okay. You're gonna get a pot. You're gonna put water in that pot. Yes. And then you're gonna get make it get hot. Hot, boiling, mm-hmm. boiling hot, boiling. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be vigorously boiling. Oh, it's gonna be hot. You're gonna burn yourself. Don't burn, Scott. <laughs> That's you're going to burn yourself. You're gonna, it's inevitable. You're gonna burn yourself. If you're cooking good, you gotta burn yourself. Yes. It's okay. inevitable to create the edible. Mm-hmm. And that's what we always say. That's what we always say. It's inevitable. To create the edible. Edible, okay. Watch our show on the Food Cooking Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesdays at 12. Wednesdays at 12. <laughs> midnight? Pick which 12 you want. Either one. Noon or midnight. Either one. Either one. Either one. We'll so, be there. So you're going to put... Hmm? The recipe is basically you're going to get burnt at how hot the pot is? Well, it's part of the recipe. Part of the recipe. The whole, it's part of the recipe. It's not the whole recipe. Okay, so, oh, you're not done. Well, you're we just, haven't even put the macaroni in the water, Scott. What the hell? <laughs> well, I just... you. What the why hell? Would, why would we be... <laughs> Mr. Ackerman, what the hell? Sorry, just you plugged your show after the first step. I was <laughs> confused. I, we thought that's what this was for. Yeah, it's like a YouTube ad, you know, interstitched sure. between okay. content. Yes. If you don't can... pay for premium. Yes. Do you guys pay for premium? My husband pays for premium. I pay for premium, yeah. yes. And you're able to share I'm that? I'm not allowed to get on. He said, if you're not going to split, go half on on this, then you don't watch my, my... I have to log out of his account every time I want to look up a video. Then I mark it. Yep. <laughs> he looks the at his history. He checks You check history. the YouTube odometer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> check it. I put a little piece of tape. <laughs> and see if it's moved. So I didn't want to go half. Well, let's get to this next step. So is it the macaroni in the water or? Not yet. No. You Take have your to time. salt the, the water. water. Mm-hmm. And then you throw a little bit over your shoulder for good luck. For good luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then, what do you think happens? <laughs> Feel like you take s- a fuck break. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? During that fuck break, you get your guts rearranged. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> then I hear some groans. Groans, don't do that, you're gonna get fucked. <laughs> My husband Tom will wants fuck you. rearranged in here tonight. Don't you groan. Don't you groan. Oh, oh Mary, don't you groan. <laughs> don't you. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to hell. You're going straight to hell, baby. With gasoline drawers on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long, how long is the fuck break? <laughs> the fuck break? Mm, usually for about three minutes. <laughs> That's, That's how good it is. There's no foreplay involved. We're cooking. That's how good it is. It's a quickie. Mm-hmm. We're trying to cook for it's people. A, we cookie cooked, quickie. A cooking quickie. We actually cooked for a wedding recently. Yes. Really? Whose wedding? Uh, the wedding of the Meghan Pope. Markle and the Pope. And the Pope. <laughs> the Pope got married? I, rem- I remember. This was big news. <laughs> the Meghan Pope? Marco and the Pope got, and got married. Yep, they did. Wow. Yeah. It was Wait, who did he get married to? The Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle? <laughs> Meghan Markle and the... Wow. Mm-hmm. Amazing. People don't talk about that too much, but... Yeah, I hadn't heard about it. Yeah. 
So uh, why'd you bring that up, You the fact that you cooked at a wedding? Well, because we're having sex, and sex happens after weddings, but sometimes it happens before. <laughs> mm-hmm. During. Or do you believe in sex before marriage when someone else is getting married? <laughs> oh, yes. We are liberals. <laughs> so uh, if I had to guess after the, the, the break, the mm-hmm. FB, mm-hmm. you're... You're TFB. <laughs> the fuck break. TFB. Correct. Mm-hmm. Sorry. You're putting that macaroni right down. Well, you'd the be wrong. Water. No, not yet. Okay. You have to put a little butter in the water. Yeah. So the noodles don't stick together. Oh. Yep, that is correct. Or you could use oil. <laughs> Maybe spell oil for me. A W R L. R. Mm-hmm. Can I? Can, this reminds me of a story, if I may briefly interject. Please. I do crave Please. your indulgence. After the fuck break, we always have a story break. <laughs> this happened to a friend of mine. Um, he, he was talking with another friend of his about a particular website, and uh, my friend asked his friend, uh, what's the URL? Meaning the URL? Mm. And this other friend <laughs> laughed at him. <laughs> And my friend thought that was perfectly acceptable. <laughs> like, why not say that? But he was ashamed, and he has never forgotten it. <laughs> Can I ask what year this was that he said that? This would have been around uh, 2003. Iffy. <laughs> but, and it was my her, friend Iffy. Was... <laughs> oh, really? Iffy yeah. Waddy Way. Ify Wadiway, you know him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love him. He was mocked by a friend of his. Oh, wow. really? Yeah. But now he was saying Earl, or was he saying Earl? He said Earl. But Earl as in the my internet, or Earl, or, or Earl as in my name is, Earl as in the internet, or Earl as in they don't go good with water? Earl as in the internet, yes. Huh. 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 That's a, true, a true huh. Oh. Guess what I would have done to the friend that mocked? Oh, what? Offed him. <laughs> would have offed him right there. If oh, only you had been there, the <laughs> Angel. <laughs> You're an angel. Not literally. You don't want to make him an angel. No, I'm not going to off you. I like you. I appreciate that. You're from New Orleans? I am from Savannah, Georgia. Okay. Mm, forgive. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scott's back. <laughs> Story break. So, so far we've got water. Boiling, burn yourself. Salt, some over your shoulder. Good luck. Fuck break. Story break. Story break. Butter or oral. oral. And that could go before or after the story break. Now, finally, this part that you've been waiting for is Oh, God. man, I'm so excited. Why don't you say what happens next? You put the noodles into the water? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Another fuck break. <laughs> I'm back at this point. Mm-hmm. So the story is giving and you time to recover. This story has given me time to recover, correct. And this one's longer than the first. Yes. How long are we talking? <laughs> we, we get on a bike. We do get on a bike. About seven minutes. Uh-huh. Bound two style? Bound yes, two. a la Kanye and Kim. Yeah, bound two. <laughs> Was that the sequel to song two? I hadn't thought of it that way, but I like that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Woo-hoo. Okay, but it could have just been a sequel to Bound. (laughs) You know? Starring Gina Gershon? (laughs) Yeah, it's correct. (laughs) Gina Gershon. Who is that? (laughs) Now, because I... The question that's been asked many times. Gina Davis is stuck in my head when you say that. Gina Gershon was in Showgirls, if that helps. Mm, No. (laughs) Then I'm all out of (laughs) help for you. (laughs) Because the main woman in Showgirls was Jesse Spano, correct? Correct, yes. Jesse Spano, the actress's name. Yes. <laughs> Shouldn't it have been everyone from Say by the Bell in that? Like, why confuse it? We all know her from Say by the Bell. Scott, why? if I had a roll of toilet paper for every time I said that in prison. <laughs> we said it the whole year of 1995. The movie Showgirls should have been the whole cast of Saved by the Bell and Saved by the Bell, the new class. 
a, go- a god struck him for saying that. <laughs> struck me. Struck me clean across my head. Uh, what role do you see Mr. Belding playing in Showgirls? The guy that comes out and choreographs the dances, of course. Ah. Oh. You, you, are you on the same plane as me? Indeed I am. Mm. What about Lark? Who? Lark Voorhees? Ah, yes. Oh, oh, yes. yes. Lisa. Lisa Turtle. Lisa knowing Casa. <laughs> okay, well, what about her? <laughs> Saved by the bell? You just wanted to say something? <laughs> trying to tell you about a recipe, Scott. Yeah. And thanks to you, Scott, the water is now subsiding out of the pot. Okay. And back. now we got to boiling it for well, too long. It's all evaporated and we're going to have to put yeah. some more have water. Have to put more water in. Let it burl. <laughs> Let it burl and put some oil. So it's burling again. Okay. And you burn yourself. Yes. A little salt. Then oh, throw, throw it over your shoulder. shoulder. For what? For what? For luck. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Then. Then. Fuck break. Yes. <laughs> How long? Three minutes. Yes. All right. Because now I've now reverted. <laughs> <laughs> and then. And then. Story, story break. Story break. Story break. And then it gives you enough time. Oil. Earl. Or butter. Butter. Mm-hmm. And then. Now, finally. Second fuck break. Yes. <laughs> finally. <laughs> and then. And then. The most anticlimactic part. We put the noodles in the The bowl. noodles. <laughs> but, oh, no. You've overcooked the noodles now. <laughs> yes. You were only supposed to leave the noodles in the pot for seven minutes until they were al dente. And not a minute longer. Otherwise, you're just going to have mac and mush. What? Why aren't you putting this in the recipe not to do that? <laughs> like, why, why are you assuming that the people have already overcooked the noodles if this is your recipe? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, what oh, is oh, oh, oh. What is Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. I you oh, 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 the very oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't know Chef. Chef. Scotty, Scott. Scotty D. Scott, Chef Scotty D was already. The, he also studied at the Le Cordon Bleu in San Quentin State Penitentiary. They have an online course. <laughs> we didn't have the internet back then. No, it wasn't online. It was in person classes. In person. They would come to prisons and give you. Wow, yes. amazing. Yes, not any. Pr- just San Quentin. Just. Oh, just okay. Wow. So why are we assuming? Because it happened, Scott. You've never messed up a recipe before? I have, but usually it's not in the instructions. <laughs> hey, you've messed this recipe up. Let's be honest. <laughs> they know what you do, Scott. We're watching all the time. <laughs> what? You. We're watching you all the time. We're on at 12 and 12, but we can see inside your house all, all day the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Neely is short for? Nielsen. <laughs> We are the Nielsen box. <laughs> you, you can follow this. Come on. Come on, Scott. You're here with us. Come on. Yes, okay. So the person I went to high school with who became a murderer mm-hmm. is now a chef. We got taught by Le Cordon Bleu at San Quentin. And mm-hmm. you are also the Nielsen family. And you watch me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes I'm following all of it. <laughs> I felt excluded from much of that timeline. Really? Yes. Because I didn't go to high school with you. My husband did. Well, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I went I... to elementary with you. <laughs> you went to Swain Elementary? I went to Swain. It's Lil Wayne's elementary school. Small Wayne. <laughs> Even smaller Wayne. Small Wayne. I did go to Swain. You don't recognize me? I, d- I don't recognize you. I'm okay. sorry. Well, all right. You, she you looks grown the same. I do look the same. You've grown more beautiful, I would imagine. Oh, baby, he's trying to get at me. Easy, Scott. <laughs> easy. You take it easy now, Scott. Scott. Very easy. What did you think of that, though? What did I think of the compliment? Yeah. Well, I'll cover my ears cover so you can ears, answer baby. truthfully. I liked it. <laughs> what did you say? I said, don't you talk to me like that in front of my husband. That's my lady. He will off your ass. <laughs> Now, have you grated your cheese? <laughs> no. You haven't told me to. 
<laughs> well, damn it. <laughs> damn it, these noodles are gonna be overcooked. Well, <laughs> you can't <laughs> make macaroni and cheese without cheese. <laughs> That's a given. It's I, macaroni and cheese. Okay, it's two I, things. Let's let's say I bought already grated cheese from the store because that's not good. No, that is no, covered in a powdery substance that keeps it from congealing. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You've got to grate your own cheese. Okay, I'll grate my own cheese. But now you're gonna have to throw out that pot and okay. the, the mac. You're gonna have to go back to the grocery store owned by Kroger. Just for more water. <laughs> for more mac. Oh, but you just mac. have lots of noodles in your house. <laughs> We're noodle rich in my house, usually. Oh, well, you but heard that audience. Poor. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> <She's> poor. <laughs> While you're working every day to afford these tickets, Scott's noodle rich. <laughs> Elite much. <laughs> Way to rub it in their faces. So, okay, I go back to the store, I get the noodles. I would presume I, I, I throw out the, the water that was in there. I heat it up. Mm-hmm. Again, I burn my hand. Mm-hmm. Um, I put salt in. Mm-hmm. I throw some salt over my shoulder for good luck. Mm-hmm. TFB. Mm-hmm. Three minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some, something about this process feels very contraptionary to me. <laughs> How do you mean? Just, oh, it's very involved, which I enjoy. <laughs> Yeah. There's many, many, many steps yes. that seem superfluous upon first glance, mm-hmm. but are integral to the to the whole process. Absolutely, yeah. sir. Yeah, Absolutely, we, we are a married couple. <laughs> Food would not get made without it being this way. We can't we can't do anything apart from each other no, besides no. watch YouTube Premium. That's the one thing <laughs> we do one. apart. That's the one thing. <laughs> Marriage is about compromise. Oh, yeah. We compromise all the time. <laughs> In what way? YouTube premium. <laughs> and then cooking every single meal together, holding each other's hands like this. <laughs> That's a stir in the pot. <laughs> that is quite a compromise. Yes. <laughs> Does <laughs> one of you want to... Never mind. Does one of us want to... Want to do what? Scott? I no, let's get back to Take off our clothes. Take off our clothes, sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, is that not what you wanted? Is that not what the audience not what I'm suggesting. No. <laughs> don't try to me too me. I'm not You want asking. us to get naked? No. We don't have an intimacy coordinator, so I don't want you to... Well, we're that. married. We don't need anyone to coordinate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> we're in perfect harmony. <laughs> As you can tell by that pregnant pause. <laughs> you ever gotten anything else pregnant, if you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Scotty D. No, oh, Scott. <laughs> Do you have children, I guess is what I'm asking? Eight. <laughs> Fur babies. <laughs> eight fur babies. You have pets, you know. Yes. We have eight pit bulls. <laughs> Full grown, very vicious, trained <laughs> to bite. And two of them are trained to kill. Just two. Just two. two. The other bites are non-lethal. <laughs> the others those are friendly, bites. yes. Yes. Those two bites, they'll off you. All right, well, assuming I've repeated all the steps in the recipe and I've grated my cheese, what, what, what comes next? Is that... Well, then you're going to get a drainer. Okay. Yes. Okay, you're gonna a dra- bottle of Drano. <laughs> For all the mac you threw down the drain. Yes. Okay. Earlier. It's going to get caught in your disposal and you don't want that. Okay. It's all clogged up, but I've, I, I mm. have a garbage disposal. It's mm. cut it all up and everything. Yes. Not to brag. Okay. Oh, well, you hear that, folks? Robin, he's got a garbage. Are you slaving away at work all day? He's got his disposing of garbage in his sink. <laughs> So I, do, I would imagine I should I just take over this? <laughs> you just drain well, the noodles? No, well, no, okay. are you asking or you're telling us? I feel I don't know. I'm, I'm Scott, confused. please, you have your drainer, not a strainer. Do not use a strainer. You He's have a your drainer. 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 Very distinct. Yes, you that's drain, a noun. You drain what? Drainer. Sure, <laughs> it's a thing. It's no one's last name that I can think of. Well, <laughs> there was. Ferdinand Drainer of the oh, yeah. Ferdinand Drainer of, you know the, Ferdinand. of the Alabama of the Alabama Drainers, yeah. indeed. Ferdinand from Alabama, yes. <laughs> Ferdinand. <laughs> from Alabama. 
Alabama. Yes, yes. I know. Ferdinand yeah. from Alabama. Ferdinand from Alabama. Yeah. From <laughs> where? From Alabama. From Alabama. Touch it, go. From Atlanta. From Alabama. Alabama. Old Black Betty from Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> you take the drainer, you put it inside the pot, pour the water out, leave the noodles in the pot. <laughs> sure. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm on board. Okay. Now I'll take a break to have a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> from, from... HJB. From your from spouse. HJB. Hand job break. Oh, okay. I thought you were just cutting out the O in job. No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't do that. Like it was an airport code? <laughs> <laughs> Flying into HGB today. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. And then you're going to get some, your cheese. Your HJB. Pan- Hartsville, Jackson. <laughs> Bearport. Yeah. Bearport. Atl- Atlanta. Bearport. Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay, great. Guys, we're running out of time. What, what do you mean? What does God, is? This is not our fault. <laughs> We've been trying to tell you. We've been trying to tell you this whole time. What? You wanted to inquire about our friend we murdered. Yes. <laughs> At the, well, since we're running out of time, now you eat the mac and cheese. Ta-da! <laughs> Are you happy? What was your name again? <laughs> the Neely. The, ne- <laughs> the Neelys. Waylon <laughs> and Waylon Neely, everyone. Yes. <laughs> Waylon. Waylon. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. Did you like it? I did love it. Did you guys like it? <laughs> I'm shy. No. What? We You're brought, shy? We I'm have shy. something to tell you. We all, we brought samples. What? We brought samples. For everyone in the room who is not vaccinated. <laughs> Who gets one? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Wow. I see some hands. I see one. I see. Two. I saw three. I saw two. Do it again, please. <laughs> Interesting. Do it man. again. No. <laughs> okay, I see a. Don't very, worry. Okay, very I, see, I clocked you, even though you okay. didn't do it the second time. Okay. I saw who you were. <laughs> the metal cup man. <laughs> All right. Well, we need to get to our next guest now. He. Well, why? I feel like we're having a great time. We are having a great time. I love overcrowd the party. (laughs) Overcrowd. You know what happens when things get overcrowded? Someone dies. (laughs) I I feel like it would be rude not to. What if we just shut down the show right here and said that's it? What do you guys say we shut down the show? (laughs) You heard that? Scott wants to shut down the show after you've worked for months trying to buy these tickets. (laughs) Months. Years. You've been working for years. You all went to college and graduated. Got jobs. Worked for this show. And Scott wants to end it early. Two's a party, three's a crowd. Four's a foursome. <laughs> what about five? Because we're going to have five people. Five's for fucking. <laughs> bring, up, bring the guest out. Bring the guest out. I, th- I think you'll like it. Okay. He is an older gentleman. Okay. That's okay. Ooh. And he's an inventor contraptionaire, so... Okay. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Interesting. Oh. Although, not really. <laughs> I'm teasing, of course. <laughs> he's been on the show before. He's been on uh, twice, I believe. Uh, and he is uh, the inventor of a... <laughs> Someone just break a glass. <laughs> no, never mind. Okay. <laughs> he is the inventor of a... Certain maneuver that we use sometimes when we're choking. Please welcome Henry Heimlich. Uh. How's everybody doing? Good. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hello, everyone. My name is Henry Heimlich, and I created the Heimlich Maneuver. Where do you want me? (laughs) Oh, I love these little pads on the chairs. (laughs) I'm so happy to be here. Is anyone choking? You? Be serious. I will grab you from behind and pull. (laughs) Tell us more. 
that's the maneuver. You grab someone behind. If you see someone in the in the restaurant, <laughs> not a restroom. Also, you can choke in the restroom. Oh yes, I've you, done it many times. Baby, you choke please. in the restroom, oh, baby. I have please, before, but we're not here for that. Baby, oh, you're talking about oral. <laughs> Baby, please. What do you choke on, sir? Oh, Mr. Heimlich. <laughs> well, what could you choke on in the restroom? Soap. Paper towels. Paper to- soap. <laughs> the seat of the toilet. <laughs> you know, so you have to run up behind someone and you have to spool. Pull. You have to spool. When you say pull. <laughs> you have to spool. <laughs> And then out comes what was killing them. (laughs) Scott, do you know how long you can survive with uh, something lodged in your throat? Uh, probably, uh, yeah, uh, a few minutes or... Exactly! (laughs) That's surprisingly long. Right? Well, I, I would imagine the oxygen gets cut off to your brain after about... Yes, it depends. If you're, it's a few minutes, you're pretty much toast. <laughs> you can still live, but you're pretty much toast. But if it's like 20 seconds, the maneuver comes in and saves your life. And how... I, I, I feel like we've talked about this. Yes? How did you get interested in this? What, so what was my the first son you ever died did? of choking. Very personal story. I'm sorry to bring it up. I, I don't remember. Yeah, it's always people's first question, and it's so heartbreaking for me. My son was choking on a piece of a commemorative Lego set. Well, oh, my God. What was it commemorating? The DeLorean. <laughs> the DeLorean? The DeLorean. Just the, 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 the stainless car. steel car from the 1980s. Very heavy car. Not as cool as you think. Pretty slow. <laughs> Seems like you. Somebody you're... pulls up next to me in a DeLorean, say, revs the engines. I'm like, I drive a Hyundai and you're toast. Seems like you're the one who's interested in the DeLorean more than your son was. I did buy my son's a set, uh, a commemorative Lego set of you, Back to the Future. You must feel terrible. Awful. Wait, so it was a commemorative set of Back to the Future, not just the DeLorean itself. What? No, this was DeLorean. The, the, the car maker AMC sure. has a commemorative Lego set of the DeLorean. You know what? Maybe it's more fun the other way. Why, why did you bring up Back to the Future? <laughs> Oh, it was Back to the Future. I was kidding. Why are you kidding about your son's death? I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> There's no pressure to be funny on this show. Okay, I can take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Because I'm just here to talk about the maneuver, but they said okay. it's a comedy show, so I thought I'd lie, and that would be funny. Lying is very <laughs> What, so then what was the... What, uh, how so, did you even come up with it? It's like, I would never think to go behind someone who's choking, first of all. Well, I mean, it's, it was a long process. I mean, a lot of people, you know, they think that the back chop is the right move. Chop! <laughs> and that can hurt people's ribs. But I didn't immediately land on the maneuver. Um, it took me a long time after my son's death. I w- didn't have the maneuver, right. so I stared into his eye as he choked on <laughs> one of the doors <laughs> that opens up, right? Of course. The gull wings. The gull wings. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. How that big word. was this piece? <laughs> the set's only like 12 pieces. <laughs> it's one of the easier Lego sets. Um, and I said as his life was draining out of his l- eyes, I will solve this. I will learn how to get this dislodged. Do you think that he lived <laughs> long enough to understand that you meant you would solve the choking issue or that you would finish the Lego set build? That is a great question. Thank you. Because I 
don't know exactly if 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 he knew what Would it the intricacies. Distressing to know that the, the, if if it was. If there the was ladder? one question I could ask him, it would be like, "Did you think I was talking about the Lego set?" It would be very disappointing for a dying child to hear the last thing he hears on this yes. earth. His father say, "Don't worry, I'll finish the Lego set." <laughs> He possibly died from heartbreak, not even choking. Well, I, but I'm pretty sure he died of choking. Well, you just said you, you, looked right, you looked at him right in the eyes. So yes. did you try anything? It sounds like you didn't I try anything. I tried any- grabbing. The, grabbing the set, what? The, the grabbing the gold wing door. Okay. I tried grabbing. I usually that does, his, that does work if you get in. Yes. I tried holding him by a leg. <laughs> Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, Sonora. Yes. Yes, I tried this. I did two or three little steps. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Son, dead. Check that off the old bucket list. Check. It's a sad checklist. It's a bad bucket list. Son, dead. You do not want to check this off. Nope. It's in my pantry. But you pantry. do need to have it on there. But you yes. don't want to check it off. No, I have a horrifying checklist in my pantry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Son dead, checked off. Uh, car crash, <laughs> checked off. Uh, nuclear d- explosion, <laughs> not checked. <laughs> but yeah, I, so I was on a quest. <laughs> It's not checked. <laughs> I feel like this is your catchphrase now. It's not checked. It's funny. We may, we may have just been <laughs> diverted from a nuclear explosion very recently. Yes. There was supposed to be an explosion. I don't know. I'm lying again. It's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But yeah, I had a bunch of different, um, after the tragedy... You, well, you would have to wait for people to choke, which sometimes would take a long time. Yes, right? you know, I was going to restaurants, trying things, uh, you know. My first invention was the problem with uh, most chokings, I started researching chokings, as a piece of food is too big. So I... That is the problem. <laughs> you get stuck in the throat? Yes. With most chokings. Yes. Improper mastication. <laughs> what are those groans? Don't get fucked. <laughs> Don't get fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it seems out of character what? for you to... <laughs> huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Improper mastication, you were saying. Oh, that's yes. chewing. Yes, yes, Chew- that's it. Chews. Yes, yeah, so I invented a, a, the Heimlich chopper. The Heimlich chopper was a machine um, that chopped up food. Uh, it went chop, 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 and you sent your food through it before you ate it, and it put it in tiny pieces. But unfortunately, it was, uh, it was powered by a V6 engine <laughs> that only ran on, ran on leaded gasoline. So it was very dangerous. Hard to find. find. It is a rare engine for sure. The fuel filter would be fucked. (laughs) And he has the idea that this would be on the the table of every diner in the restaurant. They would have their own feet. Well, I first started being like, could we do every table on the restaurant? Big, huge, 1,200-pound V8 engine (laughs) sitting in the centerpiece, hidden by flowers, of course. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and they were like, this is impossible, no. And I was like, okay, so one per restaurant. You can put it in the back, you can chop it, and then you can bring it out uh, covered by pots and pans in the kitchen, of course. How, how big is the, the chopping mechanism itself? <laughs> Huge. <laughs> it was like the jaws of life. Um... Oh, you know that thing on the late night infomercials, you know, that you chop the, the celery with? Chop, 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 a chop, basketball. chop, 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 chop. <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking of a basketball. Oh, okay. That's how I get my celery chopped. <laughs> you bounce a basketball on top of it. Yes. Smash it up so I can eat it with my wings. <laughs> 
But that obviously didn't work. <laughs> so then I tried the Heimlich throat bugs. So those were little bugs. Well, let me back up a little bit. So you know how, <laughs> before I spoiled it, there were bugs used. Uh, you know how sometimes things go down the wrong pipe. Yes, we know, we know everything about why someone is choking. I like to walk people through it. So you've yeah. heard this thing. Are you okay? Yeah, just something went down the wrong right. pipe. Happened to a friend of mine today. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> jealous. I'm jealous. Jealous that it happened to the guy or you wanted to be there in order yeah, to... Yeah, I wanted to do my famous maneuver. <laughs> I'm chomping at the bit to... To pull from behind. Because, man, if, if you're choking and you get the Heimlich maneuver from Heimlich himself, that's... You've hit the jackpot. <laughs> Sometimes I line up on Hollywood Boulevard and people show up with too much bread in their throat. <laughs> and they pay me $20 to give them a pull. <laughs> they, they come to you with bread in their throat. So they, they travel from yes. where they got the bread stuck in their throat to you on Hollywood Boulevard. So well, they're they, able to make it that far with bread in their throat. A lot of people show up and say, Dad, they're like, we, we gave him the bread too early. <laughs> and I'm like, keep it moving, losers. <laughs> <laughs> but smart people, they wait till they get there. They get the bread. They swallow a big, huge grape. So they, they make themselves choke <laughs> on purpose. Yes. For the honor of having the maneuver performed on him by Heimlich himself. Exactly. And we take a picture of me, and then you go to the little place on the way out, and you get merch and get your little picture. Uh, the gift shop. Yes. And this is just you standing on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> That's right. What kind of merch is in the gift shop? Oh, so this is a great question. We have uh, clogged windpipes. That when you shake them, they go. Uh, 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 uh. They have the little whistle. <laughs> oh, now no, they I go know like, exactly what you mean now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I had forgotten about those. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like like a rubber chicken with a little whistle in it. It looks like the straw of like a reusable cup from a convenience store. Yes, Absolutely. yes. Thousands of those. They sell really well. You can take a picture with my son's death Lego. Uh, now, obviously, the number one question, am I allowed to put it in my mouth? <laughs> you risk choking. Of course. But, 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 you're, but, but you're I'm there. there. I'm just right back out the door next to Batman. <laughs> so anyway, throat bugs. So I trained some little bugs that you swallow and say, stand guard and your trachea. Oh, this is a preventative method. <laughs> I see. So you can eat as big as much shit as you want. You can stuff your ugly face and the bug is in there being like, nope, 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 nope. Does the bug <laughs> swats the food out of the way? So then it just stays in the person's mouth. The bugs are really aggressive, and a lot of times they're, they're packing the food back out of the mouth. And I'm still wor I worked on the bugs for a while, but they were so aggressive um, that I could. What bugs were these? Stink bugs. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I de stunk them. I would de stink the bugs. How do you do that? <laughs> you give them a bath, stupid. <laughs> They're just bugs that haven't showered. 
very musty bugs. Musty bugs. Uh, uh, Mr. Heimlich, is it, yes. so is it doctor or professor? Dr. Heimlich, yes. Dr. Heimlich. Yes. Um, why did you not train the bugs to maybe jump up and down on the food that was blocking the windpipe to shove it down into the stomach? This is great. This is really good. Um, I was finding that the bugs wanted to uh, do more slapping. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. True to their nature. <laughs> They, you, you haven't seen many bugs jumping. And I was like... Very I, few bugs <laughs> jump. It's true. But you see them all the time slapping. <laughs> They're slap. <laughs> you see them. That's where we get the expression, you're slapping like a bug. Exactly. <laughs> so what were, did you come up with anything else before the actual Heimlich maneuver? Or Yes. Uh, one of my... F- Final uh, things before the genius of the maneuver struck me was a uh, jack in the box in the stomach. <laughs> like I get a, it. You get it? I get it. Do I don't really have to elaborate, do I? I get it. You get Just it, right? <laughs> no, but I'll tell Scott. Um, <laughs> So basically, you, you know, Pop. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Great. So you, someone's choking. Um, uh, well, it's preventative again. Uh, I would... Uh, so someone's not choking. <laughs> someone's not. So when you get your vaccinations as a kid, who in here has them? <laughs> okay, good, good. Uh, you... <laughs> You would, uh, you would hire me or the hospitals that works under me to put a jack in the box. Hospitals work under you. Yes. Well, if the hierarchy goes, you hospitals. Hospitals. If I had it my way. <laughs> well, you don't. <laughs> I've been telling them that I could run these shit holes better than you. <laughs> shit is trash in here. Hospitals. Disgusting. <laughs> so you put a jack in the box in, and when you are choking, you wind it up. There's a little, the little knob sticks out of your tummy. It gets infected all the time. <laughs> you keep Vaseline on it, and uh, liquid uh, Z pack. <laughs> And you gotta, and then they, you can wind it up and it will eject the, the through your throat. Yeah, the Lego or the big grape, <laughs> the piece of cheese. What are other little pieces of food? How bread? Yes, said bread. Bread, yes. A um, uh, cheese it. A cheese it. If it goes in, if it goes in the wrong the orientation. Wrong way. Little diamond. A, dam, a diamond. Diamond formation. cheese it. If it diamond, goes in a diamond formation. Diamond cheese it in the throat is cheese a killer. Cheese it is weird because it's square. It's just naturally getting stuck into a circle thing. Yes, right? that's how my wife died. Oh, yeah. oh dear. Yep. Triangle cheese it to the throat. Was this triangle? Was this before oh, or after no. your son? This was after. How how soon after? Couple of days. Oh no. <laughs> was this at the wake? So wet's awake. <laughs> Cheese it's everywhere. Bowl here, bowl here, bowl there. I'm distraught. Uh, my wife goes, well, I can't do this anymore. Uh, people showing up. It's so devastating. But it does feel good. It does feel good awake. You think they're not necessary, but. They do feel good. (laughs) You know what you mean? You know, like... You know what you mean? You know what you mean? (laughs) Because you think when somebody dies, you don't want to see anybody. You're like, get everybody away. But then people start showing up and you're like, that was actually really nice. (laughs) Despite how I'm not that outgoing. You know how this works. (laughs) Of course, yes, so <laughs> she takes the cheese it, swallows it, classic choking ensues. 
It's surprisingly quiet. You wouldn't think. You make eye contact with her? I said, no. Okay. It can't be. Not right now. Sure. Please, no. So then I said, does anybody have any bugs? <laughs> Aggressive bugs? But then I realized that's a preventative measure. I can't get the bug now behind the Cheez-Its. Did you try, like, stuffing a jack-in-the-box up her... <laughs> Up a pussy? Is that what you were gonna say? I was gonna Stop. say but <laughs> inappropriate. So that is beyond the pain. <laughs> no, I didn't try sticking a jacking box up a pussy. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> I can't believe you, Scott E.D. Scott, why would you ask Scott that? Scott E.D. Scott, why would this you ask This man that? has been through so much. <laughs> his wife is dead. His son is dead. And you asking about his wife's pussy? <laughs> you are sick. Did, did you at least have some... Look at her pussy ever? Yes! Oh, it was his God. wife. I yes. thought you were a it's gentleman. His wife. <laughs> I saw my wife's pussy. Weirdo. I can't believe it. I would have never come on this show if I knew it was going to be this dirty. It's I, nasty. With you, Wayland. All these people have worked so hard to get tickets <laughs> to a clean show. Scrimping and saving for years, years and years. years and Getting years. a paper route when they were <laughs> no, I, I was going to say, did, did you have last words with her? Yes. I said, I'm going to fix this. And I hope she didn't mean the air conditioner that was out at the funeral home. Because mm. that would have been terrible as her last thought. But she perished. <laughs> Luckily, we were at the funeral home. <laughs> Saved a trip, honestly. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, she's gone. <laughs> so, of course, that emboldened me to find the way to fix choking forever. Can I ask? Yes. <laughs> so, after your son died, yes. you thought, I must figure out a way to save people from choking. Yes. So, you didn't dive in right away. <laughs> no, you have to gather materials. Right. Figure out a plan. But a couple days later, when your wife was also choking on a diamond cheese, it <laughs> you hadn't really gotten that far. I had basically sent like one letter to a, a co worker being like, Will you join me on this pursuit? <laughs> Don't even think it had made it to their house. Are oh, you so okay. did, did Did the co worker ever? ever uh, 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 join you on? Uh, or I mean, did you do this by yourself? The uh... No. And in fact, the co-worker that I sent a message to, they're out to get me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Henry, not you. Yes. In fact, the whole medical industry is out to get me. But why, doctor? Why? You're famous. I know. They want to change the Heimlich Maneuver. <gasps> To call and call it abdominal thrust. <laughs> and why are they out to get you then? Can't they just do it? No. But I developed the maneuver. And they want to call it abdominal thrust. Abdominal. Abdominal snowman. Abdominal snowman. Abdominal. Abdominal. <laughs> abdominal. 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 He's that's done. The, that's, I think he did. I Job, I think he's got it. He's got it. Abdominal. <laughs> uh, abdominal. <laughs> Thrust. So they want to call it that. And you own the rights to it. So yes. Means, every time somebody does the Heimlich, you get paid. Exactly. Nobody's going to show up to Hollywood Boulevard and look at the death Lego anymore. Mm -hmm. They're going to be, what's your name, Mr. Abdominal Thrust? <laughs> he lost it again. <laughs> Abdominal, abdominal, abdominal. 
Abdominal. Abdominal. Can you believe this? Have, have they changed the procedure in some way or just no, the name? No, it's my procedure. They're just trying the, to do the generic version. Like. Exactly, yes. Right. They, you know chest compressions? Sure. sure. Chest compressions. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, stay on. Yeah, yeah, they, ah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Annie, are you okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah. They used to be called Charlie's Heart Rubs. <laughs> yes. Charlie's heart rubs. Charlie's heart rubs. And say, why? You don't know who Charlie is, do you? No. He used to be on Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> he used to show his son's blown out heart valve. <laughs> <laughs> but now Charlie has been consigned to the dustbin of obscurity. Exactly. And that's what's going to happen to me. Unless I go town to town. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you're here tonight? You're going town to town. I'm going town to town to make sure everybody says... <laughs> <laughs> okay, get this, get this right. <laughs> Keeps it Heimlich Maneuver. Yes! Woo. <laughs> you deserve it. You Thank deserve you. It. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have you ever had to do the Heimlich maneuver on yourself? I mean... You're nasty. <laughs> I cannot believe Scott. He is so nasty. I can't believe it. Can you do the Heimlich maneuver on yourself? Yeah. Maybe if you got rid of a rib. <laughs> All right, that's our show, everyone. <laughs> Tarver! <laughs>